In this section, we're going to be talking about our render properties. I'm going to create a sphere in the center of our workspace. Let's go to our render window. And here's our render properties window. The render button happens if I left click. If I right click, I go to render properties. And here are some options. I can change my resolution up here. Currently it's set to viewport resolution. Whatever the current viewport I'm working in, that's going to be the size of my render window. Anti-aliasing is the smoothing that goes on, set to normal and slower. Ambient light and background light. The ambient light is set to black by default. Background light is set to gray. Let's change the background light to white. Here we have shadows checked. Use lights on layers that are off. That means if you have a light which you've assigned to a layer and then that layer is switched off or invisible, this will tell whether or not to actually render with that light. Render curves and ISO curves. You can actually render your curves. We'll leave that off. Dimensions and text. Okay. The other thing of interest here is the mesh tab. Smooth and slower, jagged and faster. So let's compare the difference. We'll have no anti-aliasing, jagged and faster, press OK. We will, however, assign a color, basic color, red, with some gloss finish. I'll click my render button, and there it is. As you can see, without any anti-aliasing, very jagged edges. We're not going to save. I'll right click. Let's do best and slowest, anti-aliasing. Mesh, smooth, and slower. We'll press OK, and let's notice the difference here. Much smoother, as you can see. And this button here is our render preview button. As you can see, that just does a quick preview, and again, with no anti-aliasing. The other way to render preview would be to go to our viewports and change this into a rendered viewport, which works fine with a sphere, but with a pretty complicated scene, you're probably not going to want to do that because it's going to slow down the system. This button here is our render settings, again, takes us to this window. This takes us to our render mesh settings, back to this window. Then, of course, we can save a rendered image, and we have an Animation Tools button. For creating simple animations, which we won't be getting into in this tutorial. So again, here's our render. Then to save the image, I can either go here, File, Save As, or I can copy it to the clipboard. I can zoom in and out. Or I can go back here to my render tools, specifically to this button here, save the rendered image with any file name I like. But now again, we're not going to save because it's just a demonstration. And so those are some of the render qualities and render properties.